Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today we're going to make some intricate polycarbonate work. At my shop we do a whole bunch of work at various tolerances uh, and also across a whole bunch of different materials. So for instance, we might do a custom wooden plaque for a customer and the tolerances up for that could be plus or minus a couple of millimeters and nobody would ever notice, really. Um, and we do stuff with aerospace and military where the tolerances have to be you know, within 0.5 or 0.01 millimeters. Uh, it all depends on what the customer wants and what they need it for. Now in this case here we have a piece of polycarbonate covered a pretty good tolerance. And for this project here specifically, uh, we sent it off to the customer and they said, well, a couple of things are, are off. Now, the thing that is off on this is actually we didn't account for the amount of material being vaporized. Now, when we cut plastic, like polycarbonate, this is 0.06 uh, inches thick, or roughly, what, 1.5 millimeters thick? So it's relatively thin stuff, as you can see. And so when the customer sent us the file, they said just cut it off and send it off to us, we'll just review it through the Q&A. And they did, and they said, well, you know, things are a little bit off for some reason. And I said, well, I can't figure out why they would be off from your drawing. So we cut it out again here in the shop, and I did my own measurements. And what I didn't account for, or I forgot, was to account for the amount of material being vaporized. Now in this case here, the amount of material being vaporized is almost nothing. It's roughly 0.7 to 0.75 millimeters. So it's just the amount of material that the laser vaporizes because the laser, unlike the router and the other equipment we have here in the shop, cuts directly on the line. So it's not on the outside of the line or the inside of the line, it's on the line. And the amount of material being vaporized made this whole thing on the outside smaller by 1.5 millimeters and on the inside holes it was the opposite effect because again it's cutting inside of a hole instead of on the outside perimeter. Now the one thing that's really nice about all the equipment I have here in this shop is that the tolerances are all basically the same for all the machines and they follow through. So for instance, I could plasma cut something and then do the fiber etching on it with the laser behind me here and I can use exactly the same files and everything works perfectly. Uh, sometimes you have some variations, just they're based on the material or in this case here, the amount of material vaporized in the first process so then you just measure it and you account for that. But it's very rare that we actually have an issue where, you know, one millimeter actually makes much of a difference for the vast majority of our jobs. So if we're looking for custom uh, cutting, engraving, marking, etching, contact me at cncri.com. We'll cut it, we'll do whatever you need to it, and we'll ship it all over right to your door.